For this week's lesson, we are going to be making our very own marbled paper. This is an old method of art making by adding color to the surface of typically water. In our case, we're gonna be using shaving cream. The word marbling really references to the way the colors swirl together. And these papers were oftentimes used as the insides of books or manuscripts. Now we're going to be using our marbled paper as a background for next week's drawing project. The supplies you'll need today is paper, a tray, regular shaving cream, a ruler, and any type of paint or food coloring, and then a stick to help swirl. So I covered my tray with tin foil just to make cleanup a little bit easier. And then the first thing you're gonna do is take your shaving cream and spread it out on half of your tray. Now this project is a little messy, which makes it extra fun. Once you've added your shaving cream, you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna lightly try and spread out to create a flat surface. You don't wanna over play with the shaving cream as it will start to disappear. Alright, so once your shaving cream is ready to go, you are going to start adding the color. If you don't have watercolors, you can use food coloring and you're just going to drop drops directly on top of the shaving cream. Don't worry about painting or anything. And then if you're using watercolor or acrylic paint works as well, you're just going to bounce your paintbrush onto the surface of the shaving cream. You don't want to paint or mix the colors just yet. We want to just allow the color to stay directly on top of the surface of the shaving cream. Now that we've added our color, we're going to take a stick of some kind and we're just simply going to drag through the shaving cream. I would suggest doing maybe one direction or two directions. You don't want to go too crazy or it will over mix and just turn into a yucky brown color. Now we're going to make our marble paper print. So you're going to grab your sheet of paper and we're just going to simply lay it on top of the shaving cream. And then we're gonna take our fingers, give it a nice massage, take your palm. You wanna make sure that the paint is really adhering to that paper, but I'm not smashing the shaving cream. Now we're going to lift our paper from the bottom all the way up to the top, and we're gonna flip it over. And you can either place this on your table or onto another tray, but now we're gonna take our ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can also use like a gift card or a credit card and we're just going to scrape away from us and I'm gonna take all that shaving cream off. And it's like magic, now the paint has adhered to the paper, it's dry immediately, it's awesome. Take all that shaving cream off. So after we've made our print, we can still use the shaving cream. We don't need to add any more. So I'm gonna take my fingers and just lightly spread out the shaving cream like I did the first time. It looks like it's a little bit of a, a different color, but that's okay. We're gonna just keep adding paint directly to that surface now. So the shaving cream can really be used about three or four times for three or four different prints. Once it starts turning like a gray or brown, then that color is actually gonna start transferring onto your print. So all you would have to do is add a little bit more shaving cream right on top, mix it together, you're good to go. No need to throw anything away until you're totally ready to be finished.
one thing to notice on this print, I added a lot more paint and I used a larger brush. So almost all of my shaving cream had color. That's something just to remember if that's what you want your print to look like, add a lot of color. All right, artists, as you start finishing up your backgrounds, please keep them all until next week. We're gonna be using these as our backgrounds for a drawing project. Okay, thanks for joining. Have so much fun.